What's going on? Thank you for joining us for another MLS Team of the Week player review. Today we have Inform Alexandre Matriza of New York City FC. He's got high medium work rates, 5 star weak foot and 3 star skills, and I managed 4 goals and 3 assists in the 10 games that I used him. The position that I used him at first was left wing, and I felt like he was just pushed too far out wide and I couldn't get enough out of him, but that could just be my inability to use true wingers. I changed him to be a central striker, paired with Joseph Martinez in a 3-5-2, and he was pretty effective there because he's very good at getting in behind. I also transitioned him to a left forward in the 4-3-2-1, for the last couple games and he was also very effective there as well so I think pretty much any position you use him he'll be fine I would say a left mid is probably his weakest position unless you're using that in the 4-2-3-1 and just having him get in behind and creating width for your team because one of his strengths is his ability to make proper runs whether it's for a ground through ball or an aerial through ball he makes the right run and he gets open and he's so quick so his first strength is that positioning, and his second strength is going to be his quickness and pace. On his first touch, he's very quick and rapid and can just break away from defenders very easily. And when he starts to make those runs in behind, he does so very quickly that it's hard for the defenders to catch up to him with that burst of pace. With such high agility, however, I expected a lot more. His dribbling overall was a letdown for me as I struggled time and time again to beat defenders. I don't rely on 4-star weak foot, but it definitely helps, and he does not have that, so that was one aspect that slowed him down for me, but also his agility just didn't feel like what I needed it to be to get past the defenders. Granted, he's not an awful dribbler, and he did a fine job, but I did expect more with that elite level of agility. His passing was pretty average, and his other negative is going to be his ability to finish. His in-game stat is not bad at around 80, but he is unable to beat the keeper time and time again with consistency. There were several times when I felt like he should have beaten the opposing goalkeeper, but he just shot it right at him despite my efforts to try to put it far post. And it was a little frustrating. Here I attempt a free kick with him. It's not too bad. Would have taken it with Nani if I really cared about the win but I thought this was a good opportunity to show that off. It was okay. Now, would I recommend him over Ignacio Piatti? I'm going to say that depends, because if you're a true no-paced kind of player and your only care in the world is their dribbling, playmaking, passing ability, and you don't really care about the sprint button, which is maybe a solid half of a percent of you, then Piatti is going to be your guy. For the other 99.5% of you, Matriza is going to be better on this game simply because he's quick and he's fast, and that was the biggest downfall of Piatti on the left wing. He's better than any silver or gold low-rated player. Get him.